You got the upper, middle, and lower traps, and those three areas create nine different movements. You got the lateral flexion of the head to the same side like this. The rotation to the opposite side, so extension of the head. So when the head comes back, the elevation of the shoulder, and as you can see, the muscle contracts and brings the acromion process towards that occipital area. And then finally, we've got the so-called upward rotation of the scapula. Then moving on to the middle fibers, here we're talking about that adduction. So when the shoulder comes inwards towards the spine, alongside stabilization of the scapula, which is also pretty important. And finally, we've got the lower trapezius fibers, where you've got the attachment point to the T12 thoracic vertebra, the depression of the scapula, which is this movement downwards. And as you can see, when the lower trapezius are working, the scapula is moving downward towards that T12 uh, attachment there. Again, the lower trapezius are creating the same movement as the upper trapezius, and that is the upward rotation of the scapula.